hey python programmers so in this video we'll see how to check a given number is a palindrome or not uh, in a recursive approach okay so earlier we have seen iterative approach if you haven't seen that video i highly recommend to watch that video first then come to this video okay so now we'll create the program so let's first understand what is palindrome number so the palindrome number is the number if we'll reverse that number then we'll get the same exact number okay so we'll get the number itself so suppose we have uh, one to one then if we'll reverse this one to one number then we'll get the same number okay one to one uh, so we can say that that is a palindrome number if we'll take one to three then we'll not get the exact number if we'll reverse this number right so we can simply say this is not a palindrome number okay so now let's go uh, uh, and uh, write our program okay so now i just taken an input from user okay and i'm just storing that into number variable now we'll uh, write our program here okay so now uh, i will just simply create one function later so that will function will return uh, uh, will return zero or either zero or one okay so if that function will return uh, it, it will take an argument our number okay our number will it will take and if you, if that function will return one then we'll simply print then that is a palindrome number okay so we are just uh, writing a uh, clean code here okay else we'll just simply say uh, not a palindrome number not a palindrome number okay so now this is fine now we need to define this function uh, before this so just define this function uh, is palindrome and it will take a number okay and uh, it will return zero or one okay so uh, let's say if given number if given number uh, we got number is equal to equal to uh, we will uh, create one recursive function after this okay re re reverse function and uh, if we will pass this same number so we can just uh, give it as a uh, n so we can just pass reverse n okay and if this will be equal to our actual number okay then we can just simply say uh, we'll just simply return one okay else we can return a zero okay so what i have done just uh, i have just uh, uh, prototyped this our code okay and uh, i just i'll just create this reverse function if that reverse function uh, it will take a number uh, n as argument and if that will return uh, same exact number whatever we have then it will uh, uh, this function will return one okay so uh, otherwise it will return zero so now let's create our reverse function and that will be our recursive function okay so uh, diff reverse reverse and it will take a number okay and now we'll write our program so uh, let's write a recursive code here so if suppose uh, if suppose n is less than 10 then we'll just return uh, we'll just return that number so i'll explain that uh, logic later just a second so now otherwise what we'll do we'll return integer of str of uh, we'll take a last digit okay so n modulo 10 and then we'll simply call our reverse function again so we are just uh, using recursion here and then what we can do uh, we can just say reverse of and divide by 10 okay and we, we need to convert this into string okay so now this is fine okay what i have done here uh, let, first let's uh, run our code and let's see if we are getting a uh, exit output we want or not so let's run this program okay now it will ask for input and as you can see we have passed one to one and that, that is palindrome let's uh, go for another input let's say one two three and this is not a palindrome so we are getting an exit output we want uh, so le now let's understand the logic so what i have done just uh, i'm just taking uh, a last digit of the number okay and uh, uh, and then i am uh, using recursion for a next uh, other digit so suppose we have one to one 
okay so if we got one to one in this reverse function uh, so it will not go in this first if condition right it will go in next condition and what we are doing here we are just uh, taking that uh, last digit of that number so we'll get uh, one here and then what we are doing uh, rest of this uh, we are just uh, taking the rest number so n modulo 10 will give us a 12 okay so now we are uh, using reverse function again for this uh, 12 okay again our reverse function will be will get cold okay uh, cold and then uh, that is also not less than 10 then it will go in this else condition and again we will uh, will take that last digit of that particular 12 number so that will be 2 okay and again we will call call that reverse function and it will take one now right uh, then uh, it will come into this first uh, if condition one okay and one is less than 10 so that that reverse function will simply return one okay and uh, as you can see we are just uh, concatenating the thing so that will be one plus two plus one so one to one will be the answer and at the end we are just uh, converting that into uh, into integer so that that was the logic behind this program i hope you like this video thank you if you did then please uh, click on the like button and do subscribe the channel i'll see in the next video take care bye bye